Good day. I'm Dwayne Nathan G. Nunez from BSN 3D. In this video, I'm about to show you on how to do the surgical hand washing and the open surgical hand gloving. Before we proceed to the procedure on surgical hand washing, we must have to gather all the materials needed like the soap and the sponge with the non-abrasive and an abrasive side. Remove all jewelry from both hands and arms. Inspect your skin and nails and ensure your skin is free from any cuts and wounds. And if done correctly, this procedure should take 3 to 5 minutes. First thing to do is to pre-wash our both hands and arms. Then put a small amount of soap to your both hands and do the 7 steps of hand washing like the palm to palm, right hand over left torso, and such. And do this for at least 20 seconds. Our next step is to get your nail pick and clean your fingernails. While doing this procedure, make sure that you don't do it too hard and do it gently for you to avoid having injury. Then dispose it and rinse it truly until there's no soap or bubbles visible to it. After rinsing our hands and arms, it's time for us to get our sterile surgical sponge and moisten it to the running water. Use a light but firm pressure to stroke the nails in a back and forth motion with the abrasive brush side of the sponge approximately 30 times. And always remember that the abrasive brush side is only used on your fingertips. The non-abrasive side should be used for the remainder of the scrub. On this part, you must turn your sponge to the non-abrasive side and do the scrubbing of your palms including your thumb for 10 strokes. Next, scrub the outside surface of the thumb from wrist to tip of the thumb 10 strokes. Continue to apply 10 strokes to the other side of the thumb and to each side of your fingers. Once you scrub the area, do not go back. Mentally divide the forearm into thirds from wrist up to 2 inches above the elbow. When scrubbing each third of your forearm, apply 10 stroke to the top bottom in both sides of each section like before. And always remember, once you scrub an area, do not go back. And don't forget to do it also to your other hand and arm. Once finished, discard the sponge. Start rinsing at your fingertips and continue to the hand, forearm, and elbow moving in one forward direction through the water. And always remember that you always keep your elbow at a right angle and hand raised above the level of your elbow. Do not move arms back and forth in the water. Once rinsing is complete, turn up the water. And always remember to keep hands above the level of the elbow to avoid contamination. After you do the hand washing, it's time for us to demonstrate how to put on and take off the sterile gloves. So first, before you even begin to touch the package, what you want to do is to make sure your hands are properly washed and sanitized and remove all the jewelry like the ring and bracelet. Now time to pick up the package. What you're going to do is to examine or inspect the directions, the size, but make sure it's your hand size, the whole package. If there's a tear or it basically has a hole in it, better to discard it 
here this says spill down to open not to the side or to the bottom once finished examining the package you're going to go ahead and peel the package in doing this make sure you have a nice and clean surface set this one up to the side and set the package to its good position opening the second package just touch the outside part only to avoid uh, the gloves to be contaminated your hand should be in this kind of manner if you want to insert it into the glove my left hand is the non-dominant and my right hand is the dominant the left hand will assist the dominant hand in inserting to the glove and in grabbing the glove make sure you're just holding the inside part of the cup and obviously the outside part is the non-sterile part which is should not be touched do it gently and slowly For the non-dominant glove, you're going to slide two fingers underneath that cup that's folded over and gently insert the other hand into the glove. And it's also important to keep your thumb away so you're not tempted to use your thumb to touch the inside of the non-dominant glove. Now that your foot hands have been gloved, you can go ahead and adjust the fingers as you need to. And always remember, avoid touching the skin. Once finished, time for you to wait the operation to begin. After you are done assisting the surgery, time for you to take off the gloves in taking off the gloves you're going to grab the outside of the glove of the other hand and you're going to slowly pull it off once you get it off you're going to pull the glove up in your hand like so from here you're going to take your other hand without the glove and you're going to slide two fingers underneath the cup of the glove that's still on slide off that hand folding inside out so that you're always touching the outside of the gloves once finished removing the gloves from your both hands time for you to dispose the gloves to its proper container and that's all thank you for watching god bless